Thanks, Donna. It's now 532, and Central Florida has that sinking feeling once again. Another sinkhole to worry about. This time, it's a massive sinkhole that's opened up in West Orange County. News Channel 2's Raul Martinez is live at that apartment complex where dozens of residents have already been evacuated. Raul? Mark, good morning. To say that this is a precarious situation would be an understatement. Crews are still here working. Keeping a close eye on this, they fear the back of one of these buildings could fall right into that hole at any time. First arrived about 8 o'clock. Only 1,300, it was only about uh, 15 or 20 feet from the upper rim of the sinkhole, so there was very little earth left between the building and the, uh, and the sinkhole face. And then we ordered a uh, PVC liner that we could put down over the side of the sinkhole to uh, keep the rain from saturating it because the rain and saturation of the soil just makes it more weak and would make it more likely that the building would collapse. We're trying to save a couple of buildings, each worth about a million dollars. And we're dealing with time. If you're an owner of an apartment complex and you know that business, but you don't know anything about geology, and you've got this guy telling you that you need to spend half a million dollars in the next 24 hours, making them comfortable with that decision is a challenge. And that's when I told Gary, we really need to go immediately to witness this and tell us what to do. Which he did, within an hour, they were all meeting and coming up with a game plan. So he really took control of the situation, obviously had a lot of experience in what he was doing. And uh, we've got a lot of faith in what he has done so far. The next thing that we did was decide to, to build a um, grouted curtain in front of the foundations. We were called in to look at the idea of stabilizing the sands beneath the buildings. And what we uh, essentially did was uh, form an in-place cemented sand wall using a chemical grout, sodium silicate, which is the main ingredient or the base material of, of the chemical grout, is mixed with water, is mixed with a, an activator, and generally speaking, we, we inject 15 to uh, 25 gallons of the chemical mixture per foot of pipe. And we pull those pipes out of the ground as we inject the chemical. Uh, we're going to need approximately 75 injection points, which will cover approximately 150 linear feet. We knew we had to devise a solution to protect the buildings. In order to do that, we had to explore the geology and have an understanding of what was there. And we first did that with ground penetrating radar, which we used to look for voids in the upper 20 or 30 feet. And we didn't find any. Then we used the electronic cone penetration test. And later we went back and did standard penetration test borings in the same general areas to confirm the cone penetration test results. My first goal to begin testing about five days ago was to measure the integrity of the soils adjacent to the building in the proximity of the sinkhole. From that also to give the engineers numbers so they can begin the grouting program and the design of the wall. Today we're performing the uh, cone penetrometer test. In this test I push a series of instruments in the ground it's going to have electronic sensors on board that are going to enable me to tell soil type and soil strength and in addition I can measure water pressure. Standard penetration test borings, we drill a hole to a desired depth then we take a sampler and we drive it into the ground with a hammer of a certain weight from a certain height and count the number of blows it takes to drive the sampler a foot and a half into the soil and that number of blows tells us what the soil's strength and density is. And then when we extract the sampler, we have a tangible sample of the soil, which we put in jars and send to the laboratory for testing. And we believe right now our next step is going to be a permanent retaining wall, an actual structural steel retaining wall. The design from Gary uh, Mr. Coons is to install a total of 56 tubular sheet piles. These are interlocking pipe piles um, that lock together and form a continuous wall of 200 feet to stabilize the ground as well as protect the existing structures. Our equipment as well as our company is probably the most suited for piling applications in this particular instance due to the no noise, low vibration. The one thing you don't want to do is disturb any of the side 
of the sinkhole and cause a further collapse, which could result in catastrophic failure with the building. We've been installing piles uh, in front of building 1300 since Wednesday. And right now we're at the most critical stage where the piles are only about 10 feet away from the building and right on the edge of the sinkhole. And about an hour and a half ago, we got a huge rainstorm, several inches of rain coming down you know, over a period of about an hour. Had a lot of washout in front of the piles. So we're back working now. Once we have about four more in the ground, we'll be through the, the most critical section and that'll hopefully, should be secure if we do have another storm like this. In the first 24 hours, I called a lot of people. I called people that I know in the business that do the sort of things that would help. You know, for one thing, there was the lighting person that you know that we use that came out here, you know, in the middle of the night, set up all the lights. We needed a liner put on the next day. I called Associated Construction Products, and within hours, he had a crew out here installing a 30 mil PVC liner, which is amazing. He pulled them off other work to come do it. Everybody's knowing the situation really went far beyond anything you could expect to, to respond. John Pewter started the next day after we, uh, we brought him out, showed him the situation, and he had a crew here the next day, and they worked all daylight hours. Uh, and the Geekin, of all people, were really lucky that Geekin has their corporate headquarters here in Orlando. Uh, they were here also you know, the next week uh, with all their equipment mobilized and installing the wall. It really was a rescue mission for two buildings. I mean, the sinkhole, it's a big event, but it was sort of incidental to stabilizing the slope next to two buildings, and that really has been our focus all along. And we've done that. 